Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Age Origins. My name is Pixelated Twix, and the last time we left off, we had kind of a... Uh, we kind of had a little bit of a conversation about how I was feeling in regards to the Dwarven culture. And I kind of mulled over it a little bit off line, off camera, in my own head. And... Um, I, I, I must say that in essence their culture is no different than the, uh, than the culture above ground. Um, they're just a little more honest about their prejudices or their biases towards people who they would deem as less than. The one thing that um, The one thing that really stood out that was very similar to how humans work is the idea of mages. In the Dwarven caste system, they automatically will, when a baby is born, they are already labeled as either having a caste or being casteless. And um, according to, I guess, their heritage. And in the human realm, even that if that's um well no i was gonna say even if that's other humanoids but mages in elvish culture differ how they treat their mages differ than say humans than also say kunari kunari don't even recognize the mages as um humanoids they you know they have a real disdain for mages whereas Humans are more or less afraid of mages, people that have magic tendencies, and it's, but instead of like casting them off completely, they do try to train them to master their powers, yet and still they have no real freedom. So as much as I want to give dwarves a hard time about how they treat their own, I, I can't give them any more of a hard time than I have been giving humans. I'm not going to give them a break, and neither should I be giving humans nor Kunari um, a break on how they treat who they deem as being less than. So, anyways, that was just a thought. Let's get back to it. We have a couple things that we need to do today. One thing is, um, I want to go to the mage circle circle tower real quick um i want to take care of this <laughs> i want to take care of this um i have a question it may be able to answer elder mage must it always be elder mage or it's i'm not a wizened old crone just yet would it prefer mage well past her prime don't mind the sagging bits you have an odd way of requesting answers to your question. Right. I'm curious about the abominations of the tower. Is it possible for such a creature to become a human again? Yes, it is simply very difficult. It requires travel into the Fade. And is the mage the same afterwards as the mage was before? No, I have never met such a person, but no, they are changed forever. I understand. Thank you for the answer, wise one. Hmm. That's a bit of information that I didn't know. Pays to pay attention to the... the little conversations that they have. That's why I like pause when they start talking, because sometimes they feed us a little bit of lore. Those ashes have been found here in Ferelden, too. Mother Vaulin said that's just some hoax. Mother Vaulin is a half blind old cow. Everyone knows Andraste came from Ferelden. It makes sense they'd bring her ashes back here. <laughs> Those ashes are so old. Baby. Okay. I wonder, can I, can I travel from here? Okay, I can. That's Orzammar. We need to go here. I still need to do the this one. I need to do that. 
All right. Uh, I think we should talk to you first, Enchanter. Welcome back, friend. Welcome back, You'll indeed. You'll be glad to learn that the circle is well on its way to recovery. Um... Diana of Orzammar wishes to study magic. Orzammar? Yes. Indeed. <laughs> you have piqued my curiosity. It is common knowledge that dwarves lack the aptitude for spellcraft. She will never be able to weave the simplest magic, no matter how hard she tries. I don't think she minds. She still wants to learn, though. Fascinating. <laughs> I suppose the circle should be flattered. Um, she is willing to give up caste and clan for this. I see. If she is willing to sacrifice so much for this, then we should feel honored. Tell Dagna of Orzimar that this path will not be easy. But if she chooses it, then she is welcome here at the circle. She will live and study with the Tranquil, and perhaps the apprentices, when it is appropriate. I shall return to Orzammar with this news, then. Ah, if only the circle was in better shape. Hmm. I fear she may be disappointed when she arrives. I don't think so. Um, you'll have an extra pair of hands to help rebuild. Oh, I, though, I do think she will be interested in what happened, so I'll say that. This will be interesting. <laughs> she could tell us much about our dwarven neighbors. Yes, the more I think about it, the more I like the idea. I shall take this as an indication that perhaps things are starting to look up for the circle. <laughs> Thank you. Um, is there anything else I can do for you? You've already done much for the Circle. Now you must see to your duty as a Grey Warden. Forgive me, but I must take my leave. I wish you well. No, you will always <clears throat> be welcome here. Okay, awesome. Back to Orzammar. What is with all the screaming? I thought we took care of all that. Oh, here we go. I thought uh, we were gonna be able to travel freely, but apparently not. Oh, Soldiers, no, no, we. A couple soldiers survived. So, what I am noticing is that when we recruit, um, we will see like, like we recruited the Red Cliff Guards. Um, so we're gonna see maybe some more, um, little scenes or little scenes, little fight. Uh, scenarios with them and the mages because we have the mages or maybe it's just one I don't know because I haven't seen any more from the mages just that one where we killed everybody except for one guy okay and, okay we talk to one of you guys our Lehman sends his regards, Warden. We're Thank trying you. to keep the roads clear and safe. Awesome. You're doing a good job. Okay, back to Orzammar we go. Let's speak to Dagnet. Where was she? Was she over here? Yeah. Hello. How can I... <gasps> it's you! And Misty. it's been... Well, 
Quite a while. Enough time to get to the circle and back, I hope. Yes. Oh, please tell me what they said. Her father does not want her to go to the circle, but that is going to be a decision that she's going to have to make and a conversation that she's going to have to have with him. And I'm sure she knows that he does not approve. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to tell her that the first enchanter, Irving, accepted your study. Ancestors, you, your bless study. you. I can't believe it. There hasn't even been a dwarven observer in the circle since you're relevant in the 13th century. Uh, I, I, I need to pack. No. My parents would get suspicious. I need to go. Is there anything I should bring? Books? Tuition? Nothing. They may just need every ally they can get. Then I should go before my parents come looking for me. If you ever go to the circle again, maybe I'll see you there. So she's just leaving. She's not even risking going and taking anything to travel with. She's just, she's just gone. Okay, well... All right, so I want to go to the proving. I guess it's over here. Oh, there's a nug. Alistair, may I have a word? Of course. Anything for my favoritest mage ever. It seems you and our fearless leader are inseparable these days. Joined at the hip, almost. That's a bit of an overstatement, don't you think? Well, then, now that you're in an intimate relationship, you should learn about where babies really come from. Pardon? I know the Chantry says you dream about your babies and the good fade spirits take them out of the fade and leave them in your arms. But that's not true. Actually, what happens is that when a girl and a boy really love each other... Andraste's flaming sword, I know where babies come from. Do you? Do you really? I certainly hope so. Oh, all right then. Oh, look, you're all red and mottled. How cute. You did that on purpose. No, no, Alistair. Why would I do such a thing? Because, because you're evil. wicked. She is. That frail old lady act. I'm so not fooled. I'm onto you now. So this says... Dorbin Propriety. Yeah. We're not going to prolong this any more than we have to, Nug. Am I... Keep looking for the thief. If the thief doesn't have a stolen tome, the receipt on this body suggests that he may have passed it. There's someone in the proving grounds. Okay. These are all in the deep roads. This one we can do. So we've got to go to the proving grounds. This is, this is it, right? Yeah. Actually, let me level up. Yeah, this is a uh, low power constitution. I told you this is where I messed up my characters. Messing around with silly mods. Play. All right. Okay, there's moving fan. They don't kill each other in the arena, do they? I mean, why would anyone find that entertaining? You'd be surprised what people find entertaining. Um, it's Varric? Varric. Watch for Pio Naidukin. He's won the squad combat four years running. He has 11 decapitations so far. He needs just three more for the one season record. Isn't that nice? Mm, now if you excuse me. I'm telling you, Piotin will take the prize. You can put gold on it. Well, I'm here to destroy Piotin. It's here. I think. Ah, itchy hand. The proving. Oh, this one's not too long. Valos Astratum, the 23rd year of the reign of King Ragnon Idukin, an old man of the servant caste, was accused of stealing a sapphire ring from his employer, Lord Dace. The servant was stripped of his position, he and his family thrown to the streets, and soon after, the servant died. 
The son of the disgraced servant challenged Lord Days to approving, declaring that his father had been the victim of a cruel injustice, and the ancestors would bear him witness. Lord Days had no choice but to accept. On the sacred stone of the proving ground, the nobleman faced the servant boy. Lord Days carried his sword, crafted for his, for his own hand, and was clad in his great-grandfather's armor. The servant boy had neither armor nor weapon. When the battle began, the boy fought like a whole pack of angry deep stalkers, flinging himself upon the startled lord, wrenching the sword. Wow, I sound like my grandfather. Wrenching the sword from his hand and prying at his armor with bare fingers, the boy knocked Lord Days to the ground and beat him until the lord begged for mercy. The boy and his family were reinstated to their place in the Days household, and the virtue of the boy's father was not questioned again. The ancestors had spoken, and no one would question their word. As told by Shaper Vortag. Interesting. Who are you? This is a private area. Combatants only. Well, I'm a combatant. Writ of censure? Oh dear. Yeah, let's, uh... Is that this? Okay, these are... What was this? My dear apprentice, letter of termination. I have sent this courier with this, the, this note to officially end your period of apprenticeship. I harbor you no ill will, for despite your complete incompetence, you have failed to do lasting harm to myself or my work. Sadly, I will not have a chance to witness your floundering attempts at improvement. When you return from your current errand, your apprenticeship will be over. Now hurry. I have dire need of the supplies I sent you to procure. Sincer sincerely, the mage Terrister. I am trying to fix my blanket here. Yeah, these are the spot. A maker's win. Dare see, I say. I'd wait, but it's not just a disagreement. Aldra set abominations loose. One was in my mentor's robe. If you make it here, something in the spot may help you out. Um, no point in hiding it from senior mages now, and don't worry about Denry's usual fee for moving his bed. He's dead. These are... Wow. Okay, so I just completely uh, blew through some of those. Okay. Go away. Okay. I don't talk to admirers until after I am not an admirer, sir. Not in the slightest. And what do we have here? Piotin? Guards, remove this intruder. Too little rude. So where do I go? Oh, I see. Basil? Basil? Look, I already told the Proving Master I withdrew. Do you have to keep harassing me? Hmm. What are you talking about? Well, that sounded genuine. Um, if you weren't looking for me, do me a favor and pretend I never said anything. Are you Basil Haramont? I am. So if you're not here to... How do you know who I am? If you tell me what's happening, I could help you. Look, it's just, when I was younger, I had a thing with this Idukin girl, Revelka. Lesser cousin, nowhere near the throne. Her family wanted her marrying up, so they matched her with a BMO. But we didn't exactly stop seeing each other. I see. So you're being blackmailed. And now Balin's found out? I thought we were discreet, but... She's married to a Desher's heir. He'd kill me if he knew. So I have to slink out of here like some worthless brand for fear Balin will tell the whole city. Would you fight again if your secret was safe? There's no way to guarantee that. I appreciate the thought, but they really have me over a shaft here. What evidence does Balin have? They have letters. Love letters Ravelka wrote me. If they were made public, she'd be disgraced. Her husband would cast her aside, and I would be lucky to be allowed to die in a duel. I can't get those letters back. You'd do that? Yeah. I don't know how to thank you. I I know it's my own fault, but I'd have married her if I could. Balin's fighter, Miaja, has the letters. If you make sure she never shows them to anyone, I'll fight for Haramont again. 
but you need to find them quickly. Registrations close once the first bout starts. Okay, so quest updated. Um, Basil was having an affair with the I Duke and girl Revka, even when Rev Relvka Rev Revelka, he said, was promised to another man. My Mahaya, one of ba uh, Balin's fighters, had found these letters and is going to expose Basil and his love unless he stays out of the provinces. If you can retrieve the love letters, Basil will agree to fight for Hair Mods again. Wait, the 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 messiness of the proving ground. So where do I go? Varag, I spoke with you. I guess? Did I? I don't know. Did I come through here already? No. Fixer... Brendan? Oh! Volume of Shaper History. Oh, so he had it. That was the thief. You have recovered the tome stolen from the Shaper. You could return it to Shaper Assistant Mildred if you wish. I wish to do so. Um. Let's see what we got here. Faradin Hanashan. You are not who I'm looking for. I'm looking for someone named. I don't know. Can't say her name. Proving Armsman? What do you got? Fine to see you here, Warden. A number of people have told me they hope to see you in the Provings. It's a rare opportunity to fight against someone so exotically trained. In fact, a few were hoping you'd take part in some informal action. Informal? You mean illegal? Assembly restricted, not illegal. All that ritual lets nobles rationalize it's not a blood sport. They don't like commoners using the arena for petty squabbles. Some of us prefer an honest spectacle. And sometimes someone needs a good beating, and all that talking gets in the way. Um, it's not my interest. I trust you'll keep the offer to yourself. Yeah, I... I'm gonna fight this fair and square. We don't? You new in the fights? I don't remember seeing you before. Are you one of the fighters? Was. Name's Guidon, and I just tendered my resignation. Somehow I don't think the ancestors will favor me today. Doolin Ferrender asked me to talk to you. I bet he did. That man thinks nothing is beneath him. Well, you could just tell him I had my reasons. It's not so much what happened. As what's going to. Mm. I heard from a reliable source Lord Harriman's already given up the throne. Balin called this whole proving to let his lordship save face when he concedes. That's ridiculous. Harriman isn't conceding. Oh? And where did you hear this that's more reliable than a member of the Assembly? Doolin, Doolin and I are rallying... rallying... Honorable fighters for Harrimont. I, uh, I suppose there's nothing his lordship would do without consulting Doolin. He's always been his top man. Maybe you're right. I I'm just a warrior. I've always tried to stay out of these noble politics. If I find out this whole thing was some flunky of Balin's lying to me for his own gain, I'll... I'll... Hmm. You know what? Get back to the proving and knock some heads. Maybe I will at that. You do just that. All right. I, I don't think there's anywhere else I can go in here. I don't know who I'm supposed to be looking for. Maybe I'm proving master. No, I need to find this girl. Is this it? 
Now this is taking me to the commons. Where would I look? Over here? I just... Oh, look. There's the door right there. Yep. Bowser's love letters. Right, you found the letters Mahaya was blackmailing Basil with. Basil will be overjoyed to have these returned to him. All right, let's give him what he needs. And then we'll go ahead to Ruby Ground and knock some heads, as we said so poetically before. The proving's almost starting. I should leave if you haven't found anything. Nope, I got him. I have your letters right here. Where did you get those? No, 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 no. I, I don't want to know. Just thank you. You're welcome. I can't say what it means to know my Revelka is safe. I can never turn away a man in love. I will be glad to fight for Harrimont in the Provings. Thank you again, friend. Now, I'm not saying that cheating. I'm not condoning the cheating. But obviously, these people were in love beforehand, and they were forced into relationships that they didn't want because of stature. Again, not something that I necessarily agree with, but this is part of their culture, so it is what it is, right? The proving will begin shortly. I'm sure you can find a place in the stands. Or were you here to take part in the oh. fight? I'm here to be part of the scuttlebutt. Um... I'd like to fight as Lord Harrimont's champion. Well, that's a surprise. Never thought the Grey Wardens would take an interest in our king. Let me just put you into the schedule here. Now, is there a particular name you wish listed? I'm Natalia of the Grey Wardens. We'll just call you Grey Warden, seeing as those human names are a real burr to pronounce. We actually have an opening in the first round. Are you ready to start? Yep, ready and eager. That's what I like to hear. I will warn you, though. This is your last chance to make preparations or meet the competition. Once the fights begin, there are no new additions to the roster. All withdrawals are treated as losses and a sign of the ancestors' disfavor. Do you want to start, or would you like some time? The fighters' quarters are behind the ring. What are you waiting for? I want to fight. Go down to the ring, then. I'll be right there. This is a glory proving, fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. First up is Suwern of the Warrior Cast. Many of you remember when Suwern made history as a lad of twelve by defeating his own father in this very ring. Today, he fights as a champion for Prince Balin. Opposing him in Lord Harrimont's name is a member of the famed Grey Wardens. In the name of House Idukan and our future King Balin. Hmm. For the glory of Lord Harrimont. You honor me with this fight. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! The winner is the Grey Warden! The winner is... Uh... That was an exciting start, Warden. Sowern is rarely trounced, and so thoroughly. Are you ready for your next opponent? I am. Yes. Excellent! Let us go. This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. This round, Paramount's champion takes on the notorious duo. The warrior cast twin terrors, now fighting for Prince Balin, the Aja, and Luke John. May the stone honor you when you fall. Sure, and may the dirt taste good when I feed it to you. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! The winner 
winner is the Grey Warden. That well, winner that is. That was an exciting bout. Two on one, and you took them both easily. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for your next opponent? Let me guess, it's three on one? Yes. Excellent. Let us go. This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. Aramont's champion cleared the stone, but can she hold out against the Paragon's own favorites, the Silent Sisters? We'll find out as the Warden faces Lady Hanashan, who proved her worth to Paragon Astith the Grey by cutting out her own tongue. And to our Prince Balin by fighting in his name. Hmm. Bless you. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! The winner is the Grey Warden! The Grey Warden. Paramount will be pleased, Warden. The Silent Sisters' support was a great boost for Balin. Are you ready for your next opponent? Yes. How long is this going? Yes. Excellent. Let us go. This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. This round is paired combat. Just as Kiatshet fought as King Bloodlick II defending our empire, so have dwarves always fought alongside a second. Master of all weapons, prisoner of none, Wojak Ivo has never won the same way twice. What will he do today, lords and ladies? He will die. And will it win the day for Prince Balin? Grey Warden, choose your second, for you oh. face Wojak Ivo and Valans. Do I wanna? Um. Choose Basil. You honor me. Last one standing will be declared victor. I guess I better Fight! be careful with my bombs, then. Jack Ivo is one of the best this arena has seen, Warden. Aramont picked wisely. Are you ready for your next opponent? Yep. Excellent. Let us go. This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. Only two warriors remain. Fighting for his royal cousin Balin, Kyoten Iduken has led his team to triumph over every unit so far. Challenging him on behalf of Lord Haramont, the Grey Warden has risen from nothing to stand at the competition summit. Each will lead a full unit of four soldiers to see oh, okay. once and for all whom the ancestors favor. You fight well, but your judgment is questionable. The throne will never leave House Iduken. Hmm. I dedicate my triumph to Haramont's victory. Last one standing will be declared victor! Fight! Wait, where's my- oh, I was gonna say, where's my-
Grey Warden! Congratulations! You defeated the man Prince Trian himself once called the Horns of my army. Do you deny this Grey Warden has earned the championship? Then it is my honor to declare this Grey Warden champion of the Proving, who has shown that the ancestors favor Lord Heramont. May the simply he the ancestors of choose Heramont. The ancestors speak through you. Congratulations, Warden. We won, people. We won. We oh, yeah. oh, don't. We don't. You showed them. The ancestors are smiling on Lord Haramont today. All right. So now what? Wait. How do we? How do we get out of here? Is this it? No. This has to be it, but is it this? Yeah. So now what? Do I just go? Hold on. Mother's Hope. Okay, you represented Lord Haramont in the Provings. Meet his representative, Doolin, for render in the Tapster's Tavern to tell him the good news. Okay, so then we also need to go to the Shaper it. close with the other Grey Warden. Uh, yes. I suppose I have at that. I find this difficult to comprehend. It is whiny and weak and constantly laughing. Then I guess a romance between you and I is completely out of the question. And the attempts at humor, I cannot understand how it is endured. Well, maybe you should ask her why she likes me so much instead of bothering me with it. It has a loud mouth. Why its head has not been crushed already is hard to imagine. Or maybe you just happen to figure she likes me a lot more than you. Don't be foolish. Yes, I thought so. Just watch your step or I'm totally telling. I'm going to stand over here now. Mm -hmm. Okay, off to Tapsters. Oh, we still need to take care of that guy. Where are you? Mm. I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Atrosvala, champion. I hear your performance in the proving was nothing short of amazing. I must thank you for bringing both Beisel and Widon back into the fight. It's Beisel. His lordship was touched to see his old friends stand for him. There can no longer be any doubt where your sympathies lie. If you're ready, Lord Haramont will see you now. Excellent, lead the way. His lordship is looking forward to meeting you. New quest, the Lord's Trust. See what else Haramont requires of you. You have earned uh, Lord Haramont's trust. You should see what else he needs from you, okay? Anything in here? All right. Hello. I appreciate what you have done, Warden, mm. and I apologize for putting one of your rank through such trials. I am Lord Pyrel Harrowmont, and I thank you for your efforts to help me preserve King Endrin's throne. Why would Endrin prefer you over his own son? You may not know the story, but Balin is actually the youngest of three. Endrin's eldest, Trian, was murdered in the Deep Roads not a year ago. His middle son was found standing over the body and was exiled. But I've always found it suspicious that Balin knew just where to look. Endrin loved his sons too much to voice such suspicions. Mm. But he knew Balin's only interest in ruling was to further his own power. 
You believe you'd be a better king than Balin? I have never sought the throne. My role was to serve Endrin first as his advisor, then as an elected desher in the assembly. A Haramont has never been king, and I always assumed Trian would rule after his father. But both Endrin and my colleagues have asked me to step up, and I will not back down when Orzammar needs me. The Assembly has more power than the King. The Assembly represents the voices of the wisest, most noble families. While we need a single King to preside over important functions and lead us in battle, the Assembly better represents all in Orzammar. Spin out what I need to do to get your help as King. Ultimately, the Assembly decides what troops to send. If they no longer fear civil war, they'll have no reason to hold back. If you want my support to count, I will have to be king. And right now, there is no sure way to get there. Have you heard of a woman named Jarvia and the criminal Carter she runs? Um, I take them out, you take credit. Is that the plan? I'm glad you're so eager. If you help me shut her down, we can show the assembly I am the right king to defend Orzammar. Jarvia hides her base in Dust Town. The raw edges of the city, where no one lives but castless so I've criminals. Heard. If you would help me in this, it would show the Assembly that I, and not Balin, have the ability to defend and rule this city. I'll deal with Jarvia. Be ready to help against the Blight. Do this, and I promise if I take the throne, I will not stop until the Assembly sends your troops. Look for Jarvia in Dust Town. Do whatever it takes to see that justice is served. Okay. New quest. Entering Jarvia's hideout. You need to find a way into Jarvia's hideout. Perhaps you'll be able to find some clues in Dust Town. Alright. Back to Dust Town we go. Little Doolin. Perhaps something else will unlock because. Oh, wait a minute. Are you? Yeah. You're the best wrangler I've ever seen. But there's more out there. There's more? What? Where could they be? Hmm. anything down here. Mm. Who am I supposed to be talking to down here? Let's go back through here. More clues. Alamar. You're back. You got more business for me? Um. What do you know about Jarvia? Have I asked him this? Enough to know she don't fancy strangers asking questions. Why is everyone so scared of her? Her base goes everywhere in Orzammar. You cross her or even talk bad, your bones end up in the lava. Hmm. Um, would you know more if the question came with silver? Could be. If 30 silver came my way, I might know a bit. Here's money. Now talk. Only Jarvia's men knew all the entrances to her base. But I tell you, I've watched them. 
they go up to what look like bare walls and poof, gone. Like there's a secret door. There's one just across the way. Watch long enough and you'll see. Now you want to buy something or are we done? No, we're done. Um, never mind, I'm just leaving. That's what I thought. Okay, so he said across the way. Like right here? What's he talking? Bigger this? No. It's probably the door. Let's see. That door. That's not. Or this door. It's gotta be one of the two. And I've checked this one. I can't get in that. So I'll just go here. Bigger. Any anything else that I'm missing? Nadezda. I spoke with her. I'm gonna have to speak to her again. Let's, let's go in here. There's nothing in here. I... Well, let me just talk to Nadesta then. Maybe... No, let's see, that's... Let's see if she... Didn't get enough of the architectural beauty of Dust Town? You need old Nadesda to play tour guide? Do you know a woman named Jarvia? I think I've already asked her this. Know her? I used to run with her. Jarvia took over the carta not more than a year ago. Okay. And already she's got every duster with both legs bearing swords for her. Where could I find her? Won't be easy. She's gotten real careful since Barat died. Real paranoid. Barat? She's got carta members all carrying these finger bone tokens. She scratches some mark into them so she'll know they came from her. There's doors to her base all over the city, but only one is ever open at a time. And if you show up without a token, You'd never know it was there. And where do I find one of these tokens? Can't help you there, Selraka. The Carta members keep them real tight. But that's worth something, right? Maybe just a little. I'll give you ten silver. I'll think of you when I go to bed with a full stomach. So how am I supposed to get the freaking bone finger, finger bone, whatever? Oh, okay. He said to... Someone like you hanging about Dust Town so much. I have to go now. Don't fall into the sky when you go back up there. Sure. Okay, I must have already talked to him. Um. I hear babies. Why am I hearing babies? You? That Jarvie is a dangerous one. I see, but I can't seem to find her. I need a bone. A finger bone. Oh. Door appears. Look through the slot. Do nothing. Okay. Ugh. Let's talk to you. Hey there, stranger. Six bits for a tumble. Two silvers if you all want to go at once. Do you know where I can find Jarvia's base? It's everywhere. That's the problem. Uh. There's nowhere she can't see you. Ugh. Well, what the heck? Um... Well, look what we have here. Jarvia said you were looking for trouble. Congratulations. You found it.
sunny ancestors. What do they teach you on the surface? You fight like a bleeding archdemon. Sweet bloody stone, look at them all. Hmm. Tell me where your base the is. The base is below the city. You, uh, you can get to it through the wall of the third house on this row. Put this token through the slot, and it'll open. Well, uh, will you let me go now? Hmm. Yes, and you won't want to be at Jarvia's when I get there. Uh, really? Oh, thank you. You're a, a good person. How do they say it? The ancestors have shown their favor. Bless you. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... This took some questioning. A little bit of questioning, a little bit of grease in the wheels with some cash. That always does the trick, okay? Now we can go back. Oh, there we go. Continue. Look through the slot. Put the finger bone token in the slot. Unlocks. All right. Here we go. Mm hmm. So are we under? How far under are we actually? Oh, there we go. We fight. What's oh. the password? Uh. Jarvia sucks lizard eggs. Looks like we have a martyr, boys. Did she say big crunchy noises? They make big crunchy noises? It's kind of creepy, Shell. It's kind of creepy. Hmm. Okay, we've got three doors. Okay. Look there. There's a trap. Alistair, have we not discussed? Do not walk over the traps. My word. Which door do we go in first? There's like a bunch of bodies. My gosh. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take a quick break and I will be back. I will be back. I'll be back. <laughs> 